All right. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to take another library, in fact, a sublibrary of jQuery or library built with jQuery, um, that helps us validate our forms. And you could see that we have this from before, which we know is getting jQuery from jQuery's website, but now we have a second one. It says cdn.wildskyhosting.js jQuery.validate.js. A few things about this second one. First of all, it's very similar to the first in that it's going to link to a library. In this case, this is the main jQuery library. Then after, we have a subset of the jQuery library, something that someone else wrote called the validate um, library. CDN means content delivery network, and it's a uh, when you have a whole bunch of code that you want to link to from different sites, this is a common term for how you would describe that. And uh, if you type this and add this into your code, you will automatically have uh, the working library for validating. So go ahead and set that up. And then you should still have document ready function all ready to go. Now let's look at our HTML down here. You'll see this looks familiar. And this is actually the contact form that we use when we were styling it. So if you want to grab your styled or themed contact form, you could use the code from that and just add your JavaScript to it. So, what we're going to do with this form is we're going to write a little JavaScript that says go ahead and validate this form. And then validate will do a whole bunch of things that are built into the library. So to start off we're going to say dollar sign, which means we're going to do something with jQuery. And we're going to query or search for or get the form. Like that. And we're going to type validate. So form is our object technically, and validate is the function or method that we're running. And just by doing that, if we go back and we look in our browser, jQuery form validation, and we try to submit it. Hmm, nothing happened. Let's look at our source code, see if we got something wrong there. Oh, you know what it is? It is something that I uh, forgot to mention here about the way this validate function works. The way it knows if a field is required or not is we have to add some code to it that is class required. And if we say class required, then that will tell the validation library where we say validate that we want to make sure that that is required and filled out. So if we come back and we refresh our code again, and we hit submit, notice that it says this field is required. Now if we were to look at our code right now, we'd see that we have this new this field is required that has a class of error on it. And that also, our input field, we only type required, it added error. So the jQuery library is automatically giving us a class called error. And what we could do with that is we could add some styling to our page, because we're sweet like that. And we could say anything that's error, make that color red. And hopefully that should help stand out even a little bit more. And you could see you could keep on going with that. Position it, make it styled differently. And if you really wanted to get into it and you search for jQuery validation library, you'd find options to be able to display different messages, customize it even more, and uh, make something really amazing with it. But just that is pretty great. And what that will allow us to do is prevent them from fit submitting a form until they fill out the actual information that we uh, need from them. So there you go. jQuery validation. Include jQuery. Include the validation library. Select the form and call the validate function. We're going to style it with a little red for the error handling that it adds. And anywhere that we want something to be validated we just add the class of required to it. So there you have it.